Hello, I'm Philippe, the guy usually behind the camera, but sometimes also in front. Follow me as I take you along our three-week overland trip to Argentina's land of volcanoes. Then we'll visit the beautiful Lakes District in the Andes of Northern Patagonia. This adventure will cross the provincial park of El Payen in the Andean foothills region of Malargue, which is the city to the north of here. The park is a 16,000 square kilometer area known as La Payuna. It is a natural setting strewn with cinder cones, volcanoes, basaltic flows and lava fields, pumice, volcanic rocks with an eerie lunar appearance. It is one of the largest volcanic sites in South America. There are 10.6 volcanoes per 100 square kilometer or 24.7 volcanoes per square mile. This area contends with the Kamchatka Peninsula in Siberia, Russia, the first place in the world due to its concentration of volcanoes. So there's uh, very little traffic along here. Absolutely no facilities, no gas station, no convenience store, no campground, absolutely nothing. The only thing is an oil field. Uh, further south, so we'll drive past it. So as a precaution, we are carrying a full tank of uh, gas oil, a 20 liter jerry can of gas oil, and uh, on top of uh, the water we normally carry for drinking, uh, 10 liters, and for um, washing and stuff like that, 20 liters. We have another 20 liters of uh, potable water. If we need, we can drink it in a jerry can as well on the roof. <clears throat> We're planning to take two to three days max to cross the whole area and be back on the main highway. So here I'm going to deflate the tires, probably go down to 25 uh, PSI. This way the tires have a, a larger footprint which means uh, better uh, traction and uh, less impact on the, on the ground. Here we come across a herd of guanacos of the camel family. The lunch break is an opportunity to check the load on the roof rack.
After about 70 kilometers of gravel, we come across the first sign for the park. Note that it was placed by the oil company, not the park services. This section of the track is of fine volcanic rocks. So we've had a major disappointment, let's call it that. Uh, we discovered uh, after driving about 90 kilometers of uh, gravel dirt road uh, that there's now an official entrance to the Park La Pajuna uh, with a brand new building, a ranger station, and uh, we had to stop at the gate and we were told that uh, there's no private traffic allowed in the park. Uh, we have to go in with a guide. Uh, it wasn't specified to us whether the guide has his own vehicle or not, but it doesn't matter. Uh, no camping, no overnight staying, uh, no... Nothing, basically. You go with a guide, take the three-hour tour, pay your fee, your entrance fee, to the park and that's it so we turn around and uh, we took a gravel road that took us uh, back to highway 40 we didn't feel like driving back to Malargue the uh, 90 kilometers we drove to come down but I guess uh, in the end our luck uh, improved uh, just before re uh, reaching highway 40 we're two kilometers from the highway we took a kind of a side trail that doesn't lead anywhere but uh, to this flat area here which is just above the river the rio grande and uh, it looks like it's going to be very nice and uh, we should be able to have a quiet night here and uh, we'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow because we were going to spend a couple days in the park but now that's off the solar panel has been working really well. I'm quite happy with it. During the day, it has no problem supplying our electrical needs. Like the fridge runs entirely off the solar panel. Uh, and even late in the afternoon or early in the morning, if the solar panel cannot supply all the electricity required by the fridge, as soon as the fridge stops, whatever current the solar panel can supply is often enough to uh, recharge the battery and uh, keep it fully charged. Even though we had to change our plans yesterday, it turned out pretty good. We found this beautiful spot. We've had a very peaceful night. And uh, I woke up just in time this morning to see the top of the mountains uh, beginning to be lit by the sunrise. We're far enough from the road, that the main road, that we can't uh, hear the traffic here. So very very peaceful just the sound of the the rio grande this beautiful river that flows between volcanic rocks so today we're gonna keep heading south and we're gonna take the road that was supposed to lead us back onto the highway we're gonna take it in reverse because there's an area that uh, I wanted to explore. We'll see today if we find trails. 
and uh, campsite for tonight. We'd like to spend the last day of the year in nature. So that's the plan for today. And then on the 1st of January, 2021, New Year, uh, we'll uh, more or less resume our plan, drive south again to the small town of Chos Malal, where we'll be able to uh, buy food again and then continue on. This particular spot where the trail meets with Route 40 is called La Pasarela, which is a small bridge. The road crosses over a narrow gorge of the Rio Grande. The old wooden bridge is still there. Hola, buen día. We are now back on Route 40, which you might have heard me refer to as Highway 40. It is a major north-south route along the Andes of Argentina, but many sections are not yet paved. On this map, you can see the region I want to explore a bit. The landscape looks quite interesting. Every day we take time to cook a proper breakfast and lunch.
this is the end of 2020. We're quite grateful to be able to be out in nature, enjoying our freedom. And we hope 2021 will be a better, more normal year. <laughs>